Okay, we have already captured quite a number of packets, all right? So I'm just extracting some of the packets that was uh, recorded and stored previously. So this is not running on runtime anymore, okay? And one of the interesting things that you need to do when you are trying to look for anomalies in your network using this Wireshark is to analyze it. Okay. Now, of course, this process is very slow. The first things usually I will look at is to go into the statistics and take a look at the summary itself, which is the, this one. Now, it does tell you the size of the file and so forth over here, but that is not really interesting. All right. Okay. Then it tells you when is your first packet, last packet. Again, not very useful for me. What is interesting to me is all the way down here, this part. Right. So during this process that I've just run and during this time period, how many packets actually run through my network interface or run through my server or, or this job, how many packets was generated or captured. So I can actually see the number of packets over here. You see that? All right. So the number of packets sometimes can actually tell me about anomalies that occur. All right. Why is there suddenly such a huge amount of packets running through my server or running through uh, this network during this period of time or during this particular job? Another two particular areas that I like to look into is actually the uh, average packet Right, per second that flows through as well as the time for the size that goes through right this will actually tell me something about the bandwidth itself and what is the average packet size for well, in this case is actually relatively small all right okay it's actually relatively small which looks okay on my particular uh, job at this current moment but for different type of network different type of job Right. you need to do this regularly and if possible keep a record of it so that you can identify okay this is my normal network behavior or right. I'm generating this amount of traffic I'm generating this amount of packet on a weekly basis or on this particular job right. and this is my average packet size and when you have all this information, whenever you have very huge amount of packets or the package size suddenly jumps to a huge size, you will be aware of this anomaly and you can launch a further investigation. All right. So try to understand or, or try to get used to your network. What is the norm for your network? And in the subsequent uh, Wireshark tutorial, we will actually run through other areas that actually can help uh, network administrators to monitor the network using Wireshark.